How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing Vermont on my journey to get a 25k in every US state in GeoGuessr. As you might know, I was just in Vermont a couple months ago. I had a fantastic time, and that was the last state that I needed to go to to finish all the lower 48 states. It was an awesome trip, and if you want to see a vlog of me climbing Vermont's highest mountain, check it out. I have a link in the description. Anyway, though, we'll see if this trip helps me out here today. Make sure to leave a like down below, and let's see what Vermont brings me. Here we go. All right, starting us out, we're at Clay White Hill. Okay, looks very rural here. Vermont is definitely a quite rural state. Let's see what we get here. Lincoln Farm next right. Okay, looks pretty mountainous and again, just very middle of nowhere. So I'm going to go for the movement trick here and just go down this road as fast as possible, holding down space and hopefully we come across something soon enough. So for my Vermont trip, I stayed near Burlington so that I wouldn't be too far from the high points. And that's pretty much all I did. I spent one entire day climbing up the mountain and then the other day I drove over to New Hampshire and saw Mount Washington. Beyond that, I didn't do all that much in Vermont. So let me know in the comments what you guys have seen in the state. So made it to this intersection, South Randolph Road. Okay, still not seeing much. Oh, we have a road number now. 14. Okay, that's good. Let me try to find 14 at least. Maybe this shows up. I mean, Vermont's not the biggest state ever, so hopefully it does. Here it is. Okay, and there's East Randolph. Randolph Center, so it's south down here. Maybe it is. Uh, I'm gonna try to look for the street and use the angle of the road here as well. There's South Randolph Road, yeah. Okay, so back at the start, I forget what exactly we were next to. Clay White Hill. Is this going to show up? It's a little dirt road. It curves off there to the east, so maybe yeah, it's here. There we go. All right, not the worst first round to get for sure, but Vermont's definitely rural. Here's another one, Common Way. Middle of nowhere, beautiful mountain view here. And again, we just got to move as fast as possible and hopefully we find signs. But Vermont is such a beautiful state. I can only imagine how gorgeous it must be up there right now in October with all the fall foliage. And here's an intersection. Let's get the street name, see what's going on. Thompson's Point and Greenbush. Okay, good to keep this all in mind. Champlain Bikeway. That's actually good as well. Champlain is the lake up here, of course. So, I bet we're up here. Vergen is nearby. Can I find this stuff? Are we out on these islands? Could that be the case? I don't really see water though, so probably not. But yeah, I, I'm trusting the Champlain thing that we're here. Yeah, there's Vergen. Okay, I'm gonna try to find these roads. Thompson's Point. Here's Greenbush. There we go. Okay, uh, back to the start. Thompson's Point was south and we're at Common Way. Okay, hopefully we get this. Could be a little bit tough to find, but hopefully it shows up. There's Thompson's Point. Nice. All right, that's common. Okay, these have been rural rounds, but we're able to solve them pretty well. This one, we have roads right here. Vermont 66, uh, Interstate 89 is nearby, so here's 66. Okay, what else do we have here? 66, it's also going towards 12A. And I think that's about all we've got. I'm going to go see what other signs we have. Maybe, like, town directions. Here we go. Randolph is here again. Yeah, that's, like, right where we were. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah. So Randolph, the actual town, is this... We gotta be, like, here, then. Is that right? Yes. I think this intersection. Let's see. Come on. Good stuff. All right, round number four. This street is Brookwood. Honestly, this is going better than I thought. So far, kind of painless. They've been rural, but they've been fun to solve. This one, hopefully, we can say the same about. So we're gonna move to the south and see what we find. Oh, I think we just got jumped off onto this neighborhood. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. I don't know if that's where the way we want to go. East Ridge Court, yeah, I think we want to stay on the main road here. There's a stop sign coming up, so let's see what's going on. Just head over to here. Any road numbers or anything? Nah, I mean, this is more residential at least, but it's not the greatest information. Notch, Town Line Road. Yeah, I don't know, I just... Oh, we can't keep going south here, okay. I guess I'll just go this way then, and just keep moving, see what we come across. This one could be bad. I feel like the more suburban it gets in this state, the harder it is to get around. When I was driving through the Burlington suburbs, I kind of got lost a little bit. A little confusing out there, all the windy roads and stuff, and also, I've never been to the area, so yeah, got confused. Hopefully, it doesn't happen in this round. Right, yeah, it feels definitely much more residential. This is, yeah, more of a town here. Can we go down this road? I want to go down here. This feels like a more important street. Again, we're getting jumped off into the residential areas. Gotta stay here. What's this sign, actually? Residential care, no. 802, the whole state has that area code, so no good. But yeah, we're well and truly into some town here. So hopefully we can just get the name of it. Hopefully it's one I've heard of. I don't know too many places in Vermont, but hopefully I know this one. Let's see, here's a much bigger street. Alright, what is this town? Come on, where are we? Surely we get information on this street, right? I'm pretty sure this is Main Street. I, th I think that's what the street sign said, so come on. Here's a sign. Let's see what we got. This should get us the info. Downtown Rutland. Okay. Rutland is here. I think that does just put us in Rutland. 
right? <laughs> US 4 and 7 are here, yep, okay. So we've gone kind of like west and south to get over to here. I'm gonna go back to the start and see what the roads were again. It was Brock, Brookwood, not Brock. But yeah, I don't know, can I get it from this? Town line road I think is maybe where we were? Brookwood, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Let's see, yes it is. Okay, one more round, let's make it a good one. Another town here and signs right here, 100 and 112. And let's get to the directions as well. This is going to be really good. Whitingham, Reedsboro, Wilmington. Okay. 100, 112. Here's 100 and 112. Where is it? Whitingham is here. So I think we're in Jacksonville. If... Let me see. It was, it was one of the roads ending, I think. Yeah, 112 ends here. So we're at this little bridge across the stream. And this street is Orchard Hill. So we got zoomed out. Let's go back in here and see. Is this where we are? Orchard Hill. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, a sub seven minutes time. Not bad. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how that went. Pretty painless, honestly. I think Vermont seems fun to speedrun. A lot of signs nearby, like even if it's rural. Maybe we just got a lucky seed, but that was a lot of fun. And let's run it back, see if I can beat the time. Checking on the leaderboard, that's actually the 12th fastest time in Vermont. I'm, I'm very happy with that, honestly. Didn't expect to be there on the leaderboard at all. Nothing else to do but hop right into our second game. Let's see if we can do it. We need, we need more urban rounds, I think. First round is kind of urban. Some sort of resort, like, tavern, touristy-looking place here. Uh, okay, what is this town? This... Did I drive through here? I think I drove through something in New Hampshire that looked like this place. I don't think I've passed through here. Maybe, we'll find out. I don't recognize it if it is something I've been to. I'm trying to read these banners, and now we're in Gen 1 coverage, okay. <laughs> Killington Mountain Lodge, that's so familiar. Killington. That's famous, yeah, here we go, okay. Killington, next to some place, are we there? That's not what that said, right? Basin Sports, no. Lookout Tavern. There it is, there it is, okay. Not bad, about a minute to start round number two. This is also good, this is West Rutland and Proctor, so Rutland we know is here. So if that's two away, and Proctor's four. Uh, interesting. Are we here? I think that's maybe gonna be it. Let me check the street name and see. East Proctor Road. Is that what this is called? Oh my god, are we here? <laughs> no, it's not a T-junction. No, we're at a T-junction and this is some bridge there. No, we're here, we're here. Okay, nice. That was a good one. Round number three. This is also good, broad and pleasant. Another town. This is the seed of my dreams right now. What do we got? Gen 1 coverage, though, of course, the second I say that. You gotta be kidding me, man. Come on. Why in this town is Gen 1? Unbelievable. Well, I guess I'll go the other way when it was Gen 4. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Lindenville. And this says Linden Buffet. So, I guess that's our town. I haven't heard of Linden. Can we find this? Again, Vermont's not that big. We can probably look. Scan for it. Damn, this is a good seed. I'm kind of throwing this one away. Let's keep moving. I'm gonna use the spacebar movement trick. Hopefully, we get to some good signs now. Railroad tracks. Come on, give me signs. Here we go. There's something happening. I saw signs. Where'd they go? No, US 5. Okay. That's good, so we're probably on the border then. That's where five is, I think. Oh, here we go. Lindenville's there. All right. Back to the start. We were at Broad and Pleasant. And this is Broad and there's Pleasant. Okay. Good stuff. Come on, we can do this. Two more rounds. Another city. This is actually so lucky. Casella, that's just the company, I think. <laughs> Brooks Ave is our starting intersection. So let's move. Let's see what we get. This could be Burlington. I saw some bike lanes. Uh, Burlington, when I was driving around, was really bike-friendly. Lots of bike lanes and just seemed like a good place to be able to bike and be a pedestrian, honestly. Anyway, so we could be in Burlington. We will see. Could be another random town. No, this is totally... Yeah, wait. Is this here? I'm pretty sure it is. This looks like a road I drove on. Welcome to the Intervale. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. I totally drove here. <laughs> Wait. This is this road. Where's the shell? There it is. Kismayo Kitchen. Yes, yes, this is here. Okay, good stuff. So Brooks Ave, we were sort of down here, I think. There's Brooks. Yeah, so we're there. Awesome, man. I'm so glad I recognized that road. It looks so familiar. East Burke and... What does this say? Eastburg and Burrington Bridge. Okay. Ooh, let's move. We got about two minutes to beat the time. I have faith we can do it, knowing how the rural rounds in Vermont have gone. But this could be the bad one. The one we've been dreading. So hopefully, it's not. 
Signs? Speed limit's going down. I see something happening. What's this? Linden. We know Linden's up here already. Yes. Linden's here. So Linden Town is south of us. Gen 1 coverage, but that's alright. Uh, let me check the streets. East Burke and Lily Pond. There's Burke. Lily Pond. Yes. Awesome, man. Back to the start. We gotta get our street here. It was the Burrington Bridge. And there it is. Fantastic. A much better time. Well under a minute faster. 522. I'm really proud of that. Not at all what I was expecting out of Vermont today. I thought this would be way harder, but this was surprisingly just a pleasant time. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we only have five more episodes left in the series, which is hard to believe, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. Check out my Vermont Mount Mansfield vlog, and I will catch you guys with Virginia next time.